Hello, my name is Donald Carrera Ching. This is my video for the Leeward CC Excellence in Online Teaching Award 2021 theme assessment and feedback. So for the first area, 6.1, assessment to measure course and or module objectives. Uh, one way I do this is by ensuring that on each week I have the learning objectives for the week as well as how they align with the course objectives uh, here at the beginning. Um, I think one particular example that is, is a great one for this uh, area is the research project in which students are tasked with uh, investigating a problem and then arguing for a solution. This project is broken down into two main components. The first component requires students to uh, investigate a problem of some seriousness or relevance and then explain over the course of about 2.5 to 3 pages um, various aspects of it, including its history and relevance, its causes, its seriousness, its effects, as well as um, possible solutions that are out there for it. And then part two requires them to use their critical thinking and research skills to then uh, propose and argue for an effective and feasible solution for that particular um, problem. I feel like this is a great example of a 6.1 because um, not only is this broken into two parts in which it requires them to really use their objectivity, their critical thinking skills, everything that they're really learning in this class, um, but there are also various uh, scaffolding steps that help them to move through each step of the process and each part of the project, including um, forum posts in which they have to discuss their uh, topic choices, as well as uh, provide feedback to each other. They have annotated bibliography, they have outlines, and they receive direct feedback from me. So I really think it helps to show um, their mastery of the course and um, learning objectives for each week as well. Okay, so 6.2. Uh, this is about providing regular and appropriate assessments. And as you saw up here, um, I do have um, assessments on Wednesdays and Sundays, and this is consistent for every week of the course. Uh, Wednesdays tend to be um, lighter assignments, although it's not always the case, but in this case, we've got the MLA and research proce uh, process quiz, and then Sunday um, tends to be the larger assignment that essentially allows them to apply whatever they learned in the first half of the week. So we see this here for the research process quiz. What they're doing is they're learning about the research process, finding evaluating sources, how to spot information and those kinds of things, as well as MLA. And then for forum post number two, they have to discuss their problem choice. So it essentially requires them to use their research skills um, to discuss and essentially provide a bit of feedback and get a bit of feedback on um, their particular top topic choice that they plan to work on for uh, the research project. Essentially, you know, an overview of sort of, you know, the beginnings of their research, that first stage of the research process. And so I do feel like this is a, a good example of 6.2 because it does allow for them to be tested not only on what they learned in the first half of the week, but uh, uh, the application of that. And it's all appropriate for the course content. This will then build into the next week um, in which they will be continuing to work on their research project as well as thinking about believability when they're looking at um, a variety of readings as well. Okay, uh, for 6.3, this is provide clear assessment criteria for assignments. So below here, you see that students are told what they'll be graded on. They receive feedback on these particular areas. Um, they also see student samples of these things. This is also the case for things like analysis and evaluation assignments, as well as their other assignments that they have, seen that at the bottom there, right here. Um, and then also for the essay, um, not only are they giving getting specifics on the rhetorical situation they're in for this type of uh, this type of writing, but they also have an essay rubric that breaks down in detail, essentially what is exemplary, advanced, proficient, basic, and lacking in this particular area. And so I think this really aligns well with 6.3 because it does help to make learning targets clear, all those things I showed, as well as gives a clear design for instruction and helps normalize the assessment process as well. Uh, very transparent in terms of how they will be graded. And I reference those things throughout. Um, 6.4 is provide opportunities for self-assessment. And there are a number of opportunities for self-assessment. Um, I mainly have students reflect via Flipgrid, but I do have some options here for students who might not have access to Flipgrid or might not have the technology for Flipgrid. This comes at, at important points, one at the end of the research project and another at the end of the semester. And that one there at the end of the research project is particularly important. And that is actually tied to another assignment that they have. 
um, which is reflecting on the problem and solution. Because the next project that they're going to be working on is in which they're going to research a problem in their community, and they're going to actually take action to address that problem. So this gets them to think um, about that. And I think that really aligns well with this particular aspect in the sense of getting students to think about their work, um, foster their learning and their abilities, and promote metacognition as well. Uh, for 6.5, the gradebook is a setup for students. I have that gradebook set up. It is regularly updated. If I go ahead and switch over to professor view, you'll of course see that it's updated and this class is over. So that should be the case. Um, but not only do they have their grades here, feedback is also provided. I'm gonna pause sharing for a second just so I can move over to a forum and protect students' identities. Um, on things like their forum posts and other types of assignments, um, they re receive feedback like this, right? Feedback to help guide them in regard to their forum posts so that the next time they post, they, they do a, a bit of a better job there. Okay, I'm gonna pause sharing again. Um, and then they also receive feedback on their grades via regular grade checks. So this is, I give grade, grade checks at major areas. Um, so right after the first part of the project's done at the end of the research project, and you'll notice here, uh, provides a breakdown of how much points they've gained, how much points we've had so far, their grade, what's left, and then what's due. And so they get a sense of sort of what's due at the end there so they know what they're going to have to achieve. And the last aspect is provide at least one opportunity for descriptive feedback. And so students uh, do have the opportunity to provide feedback in their various reflection posts. But the major thing that I do is of course the CES. And in the CES, and as you just saw, 16 out of 19 students responded to the CES. Um, and on the CES, we have things like, they can provide feedback on just other comments that they thought they wanted to provide, um, knowledge, instructor's willingness to help you, fairness, what they liked about the course, what they thought might improve, as well as just the learning process in general. Okay, uh, that's my video. Thank you so much for your time and consideration. Have a great day.